The Meadows is the first biome you encounter on your Valheim adventure. It's a beautiful, scenic biome that eases you into the game. In this guide, I'm going to give you tips to maximize your time in the meadows and set you up for success once you progress to the Black Forest. And I'm going to try to stay clear of common tips you've heard in 10 other Valheim tip videos or at least give you more insight on those tips, so hopefully you learn something new. Boar stones are rune stones that spawn in the meadows. These rune stones will have 1 to 9 boars spawn around them the first time you encounter them. These boars do not respawn after you kill them and these boars have an increased chance to have two stars. So far from what I've gathered, these boars have a 15% chance to have two stars, instead of the normal 1% chance of a wild boar having two stars. You can also find abandoned farms that will have one to two boar spawns, and these boars also have the increased 15% chance to be two star boars. Tame two star boars are great to have in your world because they drop four times as much meat as the zero star boar. The flint knife is one of the strongest early game weapons you can make with relatively easy materials to collect even at the start of a world. The crafting materials include two wood, four flint, and two leather scraps. And this weapon does five pierce and slash damage costing only four stamina a swing. The flint knife's primary attack has a fast three slash combo with double damage on the last swing that can knock your enemies back. The secondary attack is this cool jump and stab attack that does 15 slash and pierce damage at the cost of 12 stamina. So that's 3 times the stamina for 3 times the damage. And if you're feeling sneaky, the flint knife has a 6 times backstab multiplier. And other weapons do a lot more damage for just a little more stamina, but what makes the flint knife so good is its attack speed, it's almost instant, compared to other weapons that have a wind up animation. There's 4 aggressive mobs in the meadows at the beginning of the game. Necks with 5 HP, Boars with 10 HP, and Graylings with 20 HP. All of these mobs can be killed in a 3 swing combo. There's also rarely Draugr that spawn in the meadows, but we'll get more into them later. Now let's talk about getting fine wood early. Normally you can't cut birch trees down to get fine wood until after you've progressed to the Black Forest and crafted a bronze axe. But there is a few ways to get fine wood early. Let's go over one now. First you need to find a birch tree or two with a lot of beech trees nearby. Start by cutting all the nearby beech trees down in hopes they will hit the birch tree and knock it down. It helps if the birch tree is at the bottom of a hill and you can use gravity to your advantage. Once you knock down all the nearby trees, start rolling the logs into the birch tree. You'll see damage comes up which means this technique is working. Keep rolling the beech logs into the birch tree until it falls down. Then roll the logs into each other until the birch tree breaks into pieces. And now you have obtained fine wood slightly earlier than the devs intended. But now that you've gotten your hands on some fine wood, you might be wondering what you can do with it. Well, you can make some furniture to increase your comfort level, like this nice chair. Or you could make a fairly strong bow called the fine wood bow early. However, you do need one more wood type to craft this bow, and some of you might not like this, but hear me out. So sneak on over to the Black Forest, avoid the trolls, and chop down three to four pine trees to get about 30 core wood then get the hell out of there. Now you have enough core wood to make a fine wood bow that has way less projectile dysfunction than the crude bow. The fine wood bow only took 10 core wood, so you might be wondering what we're gonna do with the remaining 20 core wood. Well, I'm gonna have you craft the Stag Breaker, the most powerful early game weapon by far that also has some great utility. Note, you'll need a level two workbench to craft the Stag Breaker. As you might've seen in other tip videos, hammers are OP in Valheim because they do AOE or area of effect damage, which is good for taking out crowds of enemies, but it can also do damage to anything in that area of effect, even through walls and floors, and you can use this to damage enemies through walls, but what you might not know is you can also damage structures with this AOE damage. We are going to use the Stag Breaker's AOE damage to find treasure in the meadows, let me show you how. So you've probably seen these viking graveyards that are rocks in the formation of what looks to be a shipwreck and buried in these shipwrecks are treasure chests with loot inside. Now the developers intend you to beat the third boss, Bone Mass, get his wishbone, to walk around and detect treasure here, then dig it up with a pickaxe, but the way easier way is to just slam your stag breaker on the ground until you see damage. This means you found the chest, and just keep slamming your hammer down until you broke in the chest and got all the loot inside. As you may know, fire is a powerful resource in Valheim. In fact, it's so useful one of your two starting items is a torch. And for good reason. Almost all enemies that spawn in the meadows early game are afraid of fire. So it makes you basically invulnerable when carrying a torch in the meadows. 
The torch also acts as a modified club melee weapon and is really good against graylings and boars because they are weak to fire. I think most living things are weak to fire, but that's besides the point. You can also use standing torches and campfires around your base or logging area to keep the pesky graylings and boars at bay. What you might not know is fire is also effective against the first boss, Eichthyr. You can use two deer trophies to summon him. Then you'll see these pink and purple sparkles start collecting in a specific area. This is where Eichthyr is going to spawn, so just build a campfire right under him to get some nice opening damage on the beast. Then you can use a bow with fire arrows to take him down fast and safely at a distance. To make fire arrows, you need to use feathers, wood, and resin, and a workbench upgraded to level 2 to craft them. The maypole is a structure that sometimes generates in the meadows during world generation. A world can have multiple maypoles or none. These structures increase your comfort level by one, so they can be really useful to be near your base. What you might not know about maypoles is you can actually build this structure exclusively during the midsummer season, from June to the beginning of October. So if you don't already have a maypole at your base, set your calendar for June and make sure to build one during the midsummer season to maximize the comfort of your base. Throughout the meadows, you'll come across abandoned structures like houses and sometimes whole villages. These structures contain chests with some treasure and can make a good impromptu base if needed. These abandoned villages also have a higher chance to spawn two-star boars, similar to the boar stone we talked about earlier. Rarely you'll find villages that are still occupied and these occupants don't like visitors. These are Draugr villages infested by the living dead. Some of the houses in these villages will contain body piles, which acts as a Draugr spawner. Draugr are very dangerous early game, so I'd avoid making contact at this point, but mark the location on your map so you can use this as a good source of entrails. A drop from the Draugr that's used for one of the best mid-game foods, sausages. Mmm, mmm, nothing like a good sausage made from zombie intestines, am I right folks? When you first spawn into Valheim, only six mobs spawn in the meadows, two passive, the deer and gulls, and four hostile creatures. Neck, boar, graylings, and rarely draugr. Those are the only mobs you'll deal with in the meadows at the beginning of the game. But as time progresses in your world, and you defeat the bosses of Valheim, more hostile creatures will begin to spawn in the meadows. After defeating Eichthyr, Greydorf, Greydorf Brutes, and Greydorf Shamans will start spawning. After defeating Bone Mass, Skeletons will start spawning. And after defeating Yagluth, Fuelings will begin to spawn, which can be a good source of black metal near your base instead of having to go all the way to the plains. With the Hearth and Home update, a new merchant was added to the meadows. Her name is Hildur, and she sells fashionable clothes that help with stamina regen, which makes these clothes really great for farming. Hildur most likely won't be found on your starting island though, as she can only spawn between 3000 and 5100 meters from the world's center, so she will be located in a meadows biome on the inner ring of your world similar to this graphic. To gain access to more items from Hildur, you need to complete quests for her by finding her chest of lost goods in special dungeons across the world. There's three variations of these dungeons, and I would recommend waiting to conquer these quests till mid to late game, as some of these creatures in these dungeons can be really hard to defeat. Once you complete each quest, it will enable a new raid in your world that will consist of the boss you fought during that quest and its minions invading your base, so just keep that in mind. And that's it! That's my tips for the Meadows Biome. I really try to stick to lesser known tips, so hopefully you learn something new. Samo is a new channel I started to make guides on games I love. There will be many more Valheim videos to come, including more in the Biome tip series, and I'll also cover other games in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. If the guide helped you at all, please leave a like, and if you want more guides like this, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. Have a wonderful day. Peace!